Hello and welcome to today's meditation. Please sit comfortably and close your eyes, allowing your body to settle into wherever you're sitting. And with the intention of being fully present, let's begin with a few deep breaths, breathing into your belly, feeling your stomach expand. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And let's do that again. And as you exhale, release any stress or tension. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And once more. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And now just breathe effortlessly without forcing your breath. Simply observe your breath as it naturally flows in and naturally flows out. Today, in honor of U.S. Independence Day, Let's enjoy a poem by the American poet, Elizabeth Alexander. This poem called Praise Song for the Day was read by Miss Alexander at the inauguration of Barack Obama in 2009. The poem begins with the busyness and struggle of daily life and then injects into that vessel the lofty intentions of love and light. In this way, Elizabeth Alexander's poem speaks to one of the goals of meditation itself, to pause from our busyness, to awaken from the mundane, and to commit to bringing infinite hope into the moments of our lives, one loving breath, one loving thought, one loving action at a time. And remember, there's nothing that's supposed to happen when hearing poetry. As you listen, allow whatever images, feelings, or thoughts to drift into awareness without judgment. Praise song for the day. Each day we go about our busyness, walking past each other, catching each other's eyes or not, about to speak or speaking. All about us is noise. All about us is noise and bramble, thorn and din, each one of our ancestors on our tongues. Someone is stitching up a hem, darning a hole in a uniform, 
patching a tire, repairing the things in need of repair. Someone is trying to make music somewhere with a pair of wooden spoons on an oil drum with cello, boombox, harmonica, voice. A woman and her son wait for the bus. A farmer considers the changing sky. A teacher says, take out your pencils, begin. We encounter each other in words, words spiny or smooth, whispered or declaimed, words to consider, reconsider. We cross dirt roads and highways that mark the will of someone and then others who said, I need to see what's on the other side. I know there's something better down the road. We need to find a place where we are safe. We walk into that which we cannot yet see. Say it plain that many have died for this day. Sing the names of the dead who brought us here, who laid the train tracks, raised the bridges, Pick the cotton and the lettuce, built brick by brick the glittering edifices they would then keep clean and work inside of. Praise song for struggle. Praise song for the day. Praise song for every hand-lettered sign. The figuring it out at kitchen tables. Some live by love thy neighbor as thyself. Others by first do no harm or take no more than you need. What if the mightiest word is love? Love beyond marital, filial, national. Love that casts a widening pull of light. Love with no need to preempt grievance. In today's sharp sparkle, this winter air, anything can be made. Any sentence begun on the brink, on the brim, on the cusp. Praise song for walking forward in that light. And now let's meditate silently for a minute, focusing only on your breath, or if you'd like a mantra, you can repeat silently, I walk forward in the light of love. I walk forward in the light of love. I'll watch the time and let you know when to stop.
Keeping your eyes closed, it's time to release the mantra. Just continue resting easily for a moment. Resting in awareness. And before we complete our meditation today, if you like, let's introduce four intentions for a wonderful day and a wonderful life. Bringing your awareness to your physical self. Repeat silently. Joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Bringing your awareness to your emotional self. Loving, compassionate heart. Loving, compassionate heart. Bringing your awareness to your intellectual self. Reflective, alert mind. Reflective, alert mind. And bringing your awareness to your spiritual self. Lightness of being, lightness of being. And as you go about your day and celebration of Independence Day. Have the intention in the words of Elizabeth Alexander to walk forward in the light of love. And now if you like, you can unmute your line and bring your palms together in front of your heart center as we chant together the Sanskrit word for being, Om. And when you're ready, gently and gracefully open your eyes as we greet each other with Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.